the question is they say that you have one gram mixture the total weight of the mixture is one gram of NaOH and CaCO3 and both are equimolar equimolar means both compound both the compounds have same number of moles in the mixture and then similarly you have to find the weight of oxygen so first you need to find how many moles of uh, uh, sorry how many how much weight of each compound is present you have you have been given that the total uh, weight of the mixture is 1 gram so if you take x gram of naoh is present then automatically 1 minus x gram of CaCO3 would be present because the total uh, weight of the mixture is 1 gram. Now x gram of NaOH is present. So how many moles of NaOH? x into the molecular weight of NaOH and the molecular weight of NaOH is Sodium is 23. Again, you have to remember this. Oxygen is 16. Hydrogen is 1. So, it would be 23 plus 16, 39 and 140. So, x into 40. Oh, sorry. Not x into 40. It would be x by 40 moles of NaOH. Because X is the total weight of NaOH and 40 is the molecular weight of NaOH. So, total weight by molecular weight will give you the number of moles. Or you can say that um, 40 gram of NaOH is 1 mole. So, X gram would be 1 by 40 into X, which is X by 40. And 1 minus X gram of CaCO3, CaCO3 we have seen its molecular weight is 100. So, it would be 1 minus x by 100 moles. Now, the second piece of information which they have given is that they are a, it's an equimolar mixture. So, the number of moles of both the compounds is equal. So, what can you say? These two quantities are equal. So, x by 40 would be equal to 1 minus x by 100. So, if you solve, you get 40 minus 40 x. So, 140 x is equal to 40. x is 2 by 7 gram. So, x is your 2 by 7 gram. So, We have taken X as the weight of NaOH. So, the weight of NaOH we have now found as 2 by 7 gram. And the weight of CaCO3 we can deduce. It's 1 minus 2 by 7, which is 5 by 7 gram. Now, what to do with these weights? Again, the same thing. You, you have the weight of NaOH, you have the weight of CaCO3. So, find the weight of oxygen atoms in NaOH, find the weight of oxygen atoms in CaCO3, in this many gram of CaCO3 and this many gram of NaOH and then just add them. So, in NaOH, oxygen contributes 16 gram to the total 40 gram of NaOH. 16 gram of oxygen in 40 gram of NaOH. And so, in 2 by 7 gram of NaOH, you would have 16 by 40 into 2 by 7. It would be 
फोर बाय थर्टी फाइव ग्राम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन बट दिस इज जस्ट इन एन एच नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट इन सी एस सीओ थ्री सो अगेन इन सी एस सीओ थ्री वी हैड सीन दैट देर वॉज फोर्टी एट ग्राम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन हंड्रेड ग्राम सी एस सीओ थ्री सो इन फाइव बाय सेवन ग्राम सी एस सीओ थ्री वी वुड हैव फोर्टी एट बाय हंड्रेड इंटू फाइव बाय सेवन so it's 12 by 35 gram of oxygen so the total weight of oxygen in the mixture is 12 by 35 plus 4 by 35 the 12 by 35 coming from cacio3 and the 4 by 35 coming from naoh so it would be 12 by 35 plus 4 by 35 which would be 16 by 35 gram oxygen so this is how you go about now we have another type of question in which the weights of the compounds will be equal but their moles will not be equal now it has been said that the mixture is one mole okay and the same mixture naoh and cso3 but now they had equal weights okay so now what you do you have to again find the weight of oxygen in the whole mixture so now what they have interchanged is that first the total weight was given and it was said that it was equimolar now the total number of moles are given and they have said that they are of equal weights okay so we we'll again let us assume x moles of naoh are present so 1 minus x moles of cso3 will be present now x moles of naoh what is the weight this is nothing but x into the mass number of naoh the molecular weight of naoh not mass number molecular weight of naoh which would which is x into 40 this much gram of naoh and these many moles of cso3 would be 1 minus x into 100 gram of cso3 now we are said that they have equal weights so we can equate these two so 40x would be equal to 100 minus 100x so 140x would be equal to 100 x would be equal to 5 by 7 okay so you have 5 by 7 moles of naoh and you have 2 by 7 moles of cso3 in the mixture 